this is it, this is the attempt. We are now going around the UK, 1500 miles. This is the next victim. Are you ready? Yeah, man. We've got a broken propeller we need to repair and we've got seagull poo on the bow. So we need to, to get rid of that, so just to get our speed up to maximum. Swabbing the decks. I think you missed a bit there, Charlie. <laughs> So either we're going to go to Brighton, or if we're feeling brave, we're going to go to the Isle of Wight. The main thing we need to do is fix the new propeller. Here's the old propeller. So you can definitely see we are uh, missing some blade action there. So we've been waiting a week for the propeller to arrive. Lovely day for it there, are not it? It's a lovely day. So there's the old shrimping. This is the result of uh, hitting a rock on a beach. Now this... comes the old prop. Is anything going to fall off? When the washer. There we go. Oh, it's Christmas. It's funny that it's, it's so small, isn't it? Hey. But <laughs> hey. Old, new, broken, perfect. Look at this. So it's new aluminium propeller from Honda. Very expensive. And will it fit Cinderella? Okay, here we go. Don't drop it. Oh, snug, lovely, perfect. Mm. Oh yeah, that's nice, isn't it? The new propeller is on. Very nice. Maybe that'll give us a bit more top speed. We realised we really do need a compass. Taking this one on here. Okay, so off to Brighton. Going to Brighton. Just gonna get some fuel. Right. All right, Charlie, off we go. <laughs> so we're just going on a little trip to uh, Brighton. In the evening sun. Oh, it's a little bit choppy. Well, yes. It's so excited, it's kind of terrifying. <laughs> it is. It's a lot faster than you think, it's especially so because you're so low. Because you're sort of like getting that air and stuff, you're like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. But we just had our first breakage as well. Yeah. So basically the engine trims up and down, and um, for some reason it trimmed up but not down. And um, so that suddenly... Means it just stuck out of the water. Yeah. Right. I thought maybe the trim pump had broken. Um, and then we realised to try the button on the engine and actually that does it. So it's the button up on the controller up here. This button is basically broken. So it's about 20 miles to Brighton. So far we've done we've done four miles. And we're just going around Beachy Head. So maybe it's time to get the old drone out. And we've got the lighthouse. Yeah. And then you get that kind of feeling, don't you? you know? Yeah. And then you're like, 
So we made it to Brighton. Brighton, Saturday night. <laughs> I was just looking at the switch here. Up works, down doesn't work. Is it the wire from here? If the up's connected, the down should be connected to the back. The new propeller is looking um, very smart on there. The old one was a little bit tatty. So, um, you know, slowly, bit by bit, we're replacing everything on the boat until it's an okay boat. The depth gauge is now glued. So in theory, the, the gaffer tape's gonna come off. What's the verdict? Glued? I think it feels like it's kind of glued. This is the broken depth gauge. Yeah. It's got knocked off on the beach. I kind of wiggled this connection. Yeah, there you go, it's working. Because that's all of the wires coming in. So we thought it was the switch up there and actually it was a connection here, we think. Okay, I'm just gonna check the oil. Oh yeah, we've got loads of oil. We're gonna go to our friend's house, Jeremy, who's kindly offered to put us up for the night. And we're gonna leave Goodwin here and hope that it's here tomorrow morning. We fixed all the problems well. We've glued something really badly for the second time and um, we've fixed the trim problem. Fid fiddled with it until it's working for now. Yeah. Hey Charlie, this one's bigger than our one. Uh, yeah, look at that. We thought that I had broken from the tower and was embarked across to Burgundy. And in my company, my brother Gloucester, who from my cabin tempted me to walk upon the hatches. Thence we looked toward England. Beautiful. Bit of Richard the Third, that is, mate. Is it really? Yeah. God, you really are like an out of work actor. <laughs> we had a lovely night's sleep in Brighton, and we're now off back out to sea because the sea beckons. Oh, careful you don't fall down a gap. Okay, it's just around here. There she is. Looking beautiful. Not that one. That one. <laughs> the really big good one. Here we go. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, the propeller is definitely broken. No, that's the new one. Oh, yeah. It's a bit sharp on the blade. On yes. On that bit poking out. It's meant to be sharp. It's meant to be sharp, yeah, so you can go fast. Get on the ready, sir. So the bag for that is knocking around down there. Can I so the yeah, we can go around to the petrol station. We need to get a bit of petrol first. Yeah. Hey, what's this? That's um, our bag with some of our stuff in. Okay, here we go. We glued our depth gauge overnight. Yeah, that sounds cool. What do you think, Jeremy? It's looking pretty it's sweet. Looking. I mean, obviously, mm. that one looks mm. faster, but this one has got a lot of character. Me, yeah, that's it. Okay, try the down button again, Monty. Okay. Okay, stop that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Charlie's just um, going right in there for the screwing in of the glued. He said it was, how is he breathing? It's a good question. How is he holding his breath? Oh, I think his mouth is, his mouth isn't under the water. Is Can you pick? Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, you're like, it's good training, you know, <laughs> yeah. hold your breath. I can't, I'll hold my breath for that long. All right, just fill up with fuel and uh, now so we're leaving Brighton, heading out. Cormorant. Oh, we can just do some drone yeah, videos. Yeah, nice I'm coming! Here we go. Alright, bye guys. Nice Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming to you. Bye. 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 Right, off we go. Isle of Wight, here we come. Off we go. The Isle of Wight. So 
as we leave Brighton, we're passing the two piers. The um, current working pier is the later one, um, which has got a bump there on. The older pier, the West Pier, closed in the 70s. It was basically fallen into ruin. I think it's caught fire a couple of times and slowly it's been disintegrating. I think um, English Heritage have declared it beyond repair now, sadly. So um, it's now just a relic rotting into the sea. So smooth! Glassy! That hairline is uh, something to behold. <laughs> Goodwin, there's not much toilet space, so um, it's kind of like being in a public urinal. So we're just passing Bognor. Its most famous thing, I think, is that um, was it like Richard III or someone? Their famous dying words were "bugger Bognor." Bugger. <laughs> yeah, apparently. It's in absolute perfect conditions. Engine is tickety boo. Charlie just got a bit um, dizzy with the excitement of flying along at high speed. I did. My cuss got all tingly. Really weird. What do you think of your new sun hat? I like, yeah, I like it. I like these bits. I feel like we're both quite Australian now. <laughs> you, it's a good geeky look with the glasses. <laughs> I'm just lying here on the um, new lounge area. We're taking the rear seats out and putting the, the storage boxes and actually it makes for a really good little seating area. And I've put this foam on here which makes it actually quite comfortable. Yeah. It is actually quite nice to be able to stretch out like that for a yeah. moment. Even if only for a moment. Okay, let's get going. We're just having a picnic. Um, Felsy Bill, we've just come past here. And um, we're now just having a scotch egg. Oh, there's a good guy who's flying here. the hotel one that's um, the posh one rooms are about 600 pounds a night which is a lot um, I did look at booking us in there it's quite posh it's got a helipad on the roof and um, you know it looks like it's probably quite a nice place to stay but uh, maybe we'll save that for next time 
Anchored off here on a very uh, exclusive bay on the Isle of Wight. Charlie's about to perform an impressive dive. You going in? Yeah, man. Go for it. See if it floats. Ready? Okay. <laughs> you coming in? Yeah, let's get the shorts on. <laughs> Honestly, it's nice. So we were um, just anchored off for a little dip down the uh, north side of the Isle of Wight. It's very sheltered and there's a lot of salubrious vessels. Other um, fancy boat owners like ourselves <laughs> just taking full advantage of this uh, warm September weather. <sighs> Come with me. Oh God, we're drifting with it. Not doing doggy paddle on home. Oh. Come with me. Come and see our depth gauge. Look, we're just having a look. It's glued in a tree here. But look. It's absolutely um, glued a treat there now. It's all working. <sighs> this is uh, really rather lovely. We're just swimming. Charlie's doing his lengths over there. the bashing all day. Charlie's unpacking the uh, latest edition here. We now have... So Goodwin has our very own tender. It's the Explorer Pro 100. It's a one man, but it's the bigger one man of the two. I thought two man was too much. Uh, I think it's pretty big. In she goes. Do you think we get two people in that? Yeah. Okay, would you want a paddle? Oh, yeah. In we go. Good side. No. Very efficient little tender here. Thank you. 
All right, tell me, what have we got here with the camping spot? What have you been doing? I've just been trying to level the ground. <laughs> it was really hard at the top, and um, because we have to have it um, back far enough so that... Um, it's like a building show. Have you ever seen those programs of like um, ground force? It's a bit like ground force, isn't it? Oh, like uh, Charlie Dimmock. Yeah, you're a bit like Charlie Dimmock. <laughs> I've often thought you were like, what's his name? Oh, that's Alan really nice. Titchmarsh. You come into this really nice, peaceful, real landscape and turn it into some sort of patio. Human rain, mate. <laughs> Look at it. Perfectly flat. Tent's yeah, going to drop yeah. straight in. There's just birds flying around. Yeah, it's so nice, isn't it? Are you Racco Walsh or Oliver Reed? Well, I'm getting naked. I don't know about you. Yeah, but they're both getting naked. Should we get our willies out and then just sit? Feel funny. We'll dance around <laughs> doing some ritual. Have a wrestle. <laughs> We've hidden our transportation down here because we probably shouldn't be camping here. But strictly speaking, we're allowed to camp below the um, high water line, so we should be fine. Just above it, Tent is up. Charlie's just uh, making a fire over there. We're having a glass of wine, white, because I got the wrong coloured box. And uh, Hello, yes, is this your one here, Harry? that's my one. Okay. So, this is the Isle of Wight. This is my first time on the Isle of Wight. Um, it's really rather lovely. I came on a school trip, that's good. Win there, really lovely evening, actually, isn't it? Good winds just out there. Tide's coming in. Look at the moon. Oh, look at it. Uh, that is a grapefruit moon, you'd call that, wouldn't you? The misty morn. God's morn. Good morn. What a cracking night's sleep. Yeah, I slept well, man. You always do. This is the uh, early morning cargo run out to the vessel. It's Charlie paddling the uh, tender. Just paddling back to the boat with all the stuff. We're in the tender, looking at a seal. <laughs> We're looking at a seal in the tender. There's cows. Cows, of course, the sailing capital. What's white and comes out of cows? I don't know. Got a white berry. Because this town's called Cows. C O W E S, not the same spelling as the agricultural animal. Right, we're just at the entrance to uh, Yarmouth Harbour on, before we leave the Isle of Wight. We're just going to fill up with a few litres of petrol to um, get us over the next bit of sea. Going <laughs> around the country in this. Fantastic. Look at it. What, I, I mean, I, I, what have you got? What's yours? Well, I, built, I used to be a boat builder, so I've got. Oh, wow. This, it's like Where a. Did you start from? London. Yeah. And you'll get you nearly back? No, no, we're just setting off. Oh, I see. <laughs> so I don't know how far we'll get. See you later. Thanks for the petrol. Okay, off we go, Charlie, out to sea. A little bit overcast, but the man at the petrol station thought the weather is going to be fine. So we're sort of leaving the Isle of Wight now and heading off out to sea. Um, the needles. These are the needles. We're passing the famous needles at the Isle of Wight before we head out to sea. Let's go. Over there, look. Yeah. Yeah. I 
to Lulworth Cove for lunch, which is a kind of, to Dorset, so the sort of posh tourist bay uh, where they have a pub, I think, hopefully. Okay, so these guys here have just pulled us over to tell us that they're firing today. What are they firing? I guess they're doing like blasting maybe, or it might be like military firing. Well, you want to go low or full length, mate, it doesn't matter. You can go out on 240. Okay, for 240 miles. for four miles out to 240 degrees. Yeah, and then you can turn 270, go straight down until, if you still want to go to Lowworth, yeah. wait till Lowworth is a beam of you. Okay, and then we'll turn in early. Okay. Another range boat out there, they'll probably pick you up. Okay. Uh, so what is it? Is it like a, a blasting firing? Ah, uh, right. Okay, thanks very much. All right, 240. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We've got to go 240 degrees out here. Basically, we've got to go out to sea four miles. Boy, it's good we didn't get hit by any um, like bombs. <laughs> I know. I don't know how you're supposed to know this. Right, 240 degrees is. Look, we can do it on here. That's roughly like 240 like that. We were driving straight into a military firing range. See, we've, we've headed four miles out, now we've got to carry on down. There's this other rib here. I think he's coming to see us. Hello. No, so we, we, we're four miles out now, yeah? Yeah, that's right, yeah. We're gonna to go to Lulworth Coast. Sorry. <laughs> so, oh, okay, fine, yeah. So we were going to go to Lulworth Cove, yeah, and then on to um, Wales. Got GPS on board? Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so 216 down. Yeah, yeah. We're on 296. 295 now. Uh, that's, that's a bearing. Oh, yeah. What we're on about is longitude. Oh, okay, okay, right, yeah. yeah. You're heading due west. Yeah. So you reach 002. Yeah. 1602. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Okay. So, what did he say? 267 down here. I think it's going to be like that. Very nice, wasn't he? He's was a very nice man. You could see the firing range on here. That's us. 
So this whole bit of coastland is one big firing range for testing weapons. Oh, you said two sticks. I mean, this is where I probably need to do a bit more training. Also, we need to work out how to get the GPS to display that information. Look, we got souvenirs. <laughs> we got a wanna. Fish finger sandwich complete. Seven more miles and we're done. Thank God. That was good wind, nestling out there. Ready to take us to Weymouth, where the support crew are gonna pick us up. Don't throw rocks at Goodwin, Charlie. Charlie's just deflating the tender. We're leaving the uh, Jurassic Coastal Idle for Weymouth. If it's like this, it's going to be hideous. It might be, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> This is... Oh, yeah, right. We did it. Weymouth. Here we are in Weymouth. That's Chris. The support team are working on the trailer over there. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, hurry up. I don't know how far we went. We probably did, we did certainly did probably 250 miles. So what's that? It's like at least 20% of the way there. Maybe, maybe not quite that far. <laughs> We've seen storms. We've seen tropical paradise. We've yeah. seen a lot of seals. Pirate coves. <laughs> Some of the most terrifying moments of my life have been taken apart on this trip within the last few days. But um, also some of the best moments of my life. Oh. Well, you know, some of the okay moments. Yeah. Of Just in oh. contrast to the yeah. hell. <laughs> but the hell was hell. Yeah. And I've got to say, I did think, is this really worth it? But I think going through the hell, you know, yeah. you come out the other side, Same slightly thing. more older, slightly greyer, slightly more broken. I wanted to know, would this thing go around the UK? I think the answer is yes. Would I go around the UK? Jury's still out on that one. <laughs>